Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. Today is the long-awaited, at least to me, uh, collection update video. I <laughs> will just be flipping through all my binders. I don't know if I'll talk so much as just like flip through and show you everything. Um, I watched somebody else's, actually a lot of these, but I watched some of these and um, so if you want to know what anything is, um, just like leave a comment of the timestamp or just like whatever binder it is and like the page or the column row, whatever it is, um, and I will let you know what it is. So today I'm going to start with I think my TXT binder because it hasn't changed and then I'll get into everything else. So this is my TXT binder. It's, I believe, the same as when you last saw it, so last January or June or something. The cover is still, uh, this, the same, yeah. So this is the front. I still have the bullets, and the back still has the Hanseo codes. Um, ooh. Let's get in. Let me also... Hmm. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so this is like I think a two a two inch, two and a half inch binder. Uh this collection definitely does not need to be in this big of a binder, but I just haven't <laughs> moved it. Also, I forgot to mention that I used to collect OT5, but now I collect Take You, which is why they're in this big binder. Um, so yeah, if you want to know what anything is, let me know, but this goes in era order, so from earliest to latest, starting with Star, and then we have Magic. Um, and Eternity, that is an awful noise. Blue Hour. I still haven't put the proper fillers in here yet. Still dreaming. Let's shine back together on the campus. This is a pop-up, which I still haven't done anything with. And then we have freeze. And foe. They have a new album coming out. Um, and I was tempted to feel it. But I haven't listened to really any of their music since Freeze. Like, I didn't even really listen to the titles or the album for Freeze or foe, so. Yeah, I'll just wait and see. The last two pages in this binder are 17 Scoring 17 magazine, <laughs> the white version. So this is the first page and the second page. And that is this binder. Again, nothing has changed. If anything, maybe like from the last time I opened this, I like reorganized. But I think I did that before I did the last update. Okay, I changed my mind. I thought I was gonna put away the few PCs that I have that aren't stored and just like <laughs> put them in here, but they're not even gonna complete a page, so it doesn't matter. I'll just I'll hold off. Um, this is my big 80s binder. Um, I think. The main thing, I mean a lot has changed in this binder, but the main thing is the front cover. I believe I explained this or told you about it before, but I went to the Anaheim Day One concert for Break the Wall, and I just used freebies that I got from the concert and kind of made a collage and made it as my front cover. Um, so this is the front, this is what it looks like. 
kind of busy. I still don't really know if I like it. Um, but at this point, I think I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> um, this is the side. I got a little Hetman sticker at the concert as well. And then this is the back. The back is still my Hongqing Songhua Yosong collage. And I really, really wish that I would have put this on the front and used this as the cover. But it's on the back. And I don't think I'll be able to get it out without um, tearing the plastic. Because it's too, like, wide. Like, I ripped it a little bit on the button to get it in. And I don't think I'll be able to get it out. But... Okay, same thing, um, let me know if you have any questions of what anything is, these are all album PCs and all except for like an OT Youth photo book, I think that's the only random thing in here, um, but yes, I collect Hong Jung, Sung and Yo Sung, full Korean album, um, and that is what's in this binder, so this is what the front cover looks like. Again, more freebies that I just put in. These two used to be in the front cover, but I put them here. And then I just have like random stickers to try and make it. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. I don't know. I like it. Um, this is the like A4 photo from O2 Youth. Okay, and then for this binder, again, things are in error order, starting with um, debut. So EP1 and then EP2, and the way I've done this is for, <laughs> I tried to explain this last time and it got so messy. For everything pre-Fever era, I either have one album or one, like two albums per page or both versions on one page. So for this version or for this page I have EP1, the group card, EP2, and the group card. And then I'll follow that way <clears throat> with either one album or you know A version and Z version and the group cards. You'll see as I go on, but yeah. So this is EP1 and 2 in the group cards. EP3, which version? This is Epfin, and then we have Action Dancer, I think. Yes. Also, these are not- I don't know if I need to make this clarification, but I feel like people might ask, so I'll tell you. <laughs> these are- they're not all first press cards. Um, they're definitely not first press cards, but they're also not the meta version cards. Um, so these are the actual physical album versions um, because they take you did meta versions. And since PCs are the same, I didn't purchase them and I already have the physical copies, so I didn't want to order them. Um, now we get into Fever Era. So for part one, I have one member per column and for like part two three a blog and i believe movement as well i have member it's by row not column so this is favorite one also favorite one and then select pobs i'm still missing this song but one day I'll find them. <laughs> and then we get into Fever 2. Which I don't know if it was done last time. And then we have Season Song, which is the KJK collab. So I have... This is how I set it up. <laughs> and we have part 3. And we get into epilogue, which it's been a long time, but you know what, everybody? 
I finally found the last four and I bought them and they are on the way. So this will be the next time that I do like a walk through of my binder. So we have Otsu, these were like the pobs that they gave in an OT8 set. And then we have the actual PCs. They came in a like a big sheet that you had to pop out. Um, so you had to punch out your own cards, which was very uh, <laughs> uh, anxiety inducing. But in the end, everybody is here safely. <laughs> Um, now we get into movement. I'm only missing one, which is this Songho, and I still have items on the way from the GOM. And I believe I still have inclusions on the way from the GOM as well. So, I'm hopeful that this Songho will come to me and I will not have to pay for him. But other than that, I've finished movement. Oh, also it is in columns, not rows, sorry. I love how this looks. I've decided that just now. It looks so cool. These are the limited cards. And these are digipacks. And then, I don't know why, but for some reason I decided to include the posters, the mini poster from digipacks. So I don't have Hongjung's cover, which is why I don't have his poster. Maybe one day I'll get his cover. But at this point, I have all the digipack cards, so I don't know how true that statement will become. But we have Songha, you know, Yosong, San, Mingyi, Wuyang, and Jungwoo mini posters. And then we get into spin-off, which is a slow, slow race right now. Um... And coincidentally, the things that I have to put away are all from spinoff. Yeah, and then this is an extra page because I thought I was going to collect uh, all pubs and all non-albums for <laughs> Hong Chung Songwa and Seo Song. I quickly realized that is not feasible for me. Um, and lastly, I just have this Wonderwall, I guess not lastly, but in the back I have the Wonderwall A4, a little bit bigger than A4 um, poster. That came with my Wonderwall round one or whatever. And then I just have a page or six claps cards that used to be in the center of my uh, treasure era pages, but then I changed it. Um, so now I'm just gonna get into my last few binders, which is kind of wild. Um, but I just have my fives. Okay, so I feel like for these binders especially, they'll be more, I don't know, I don't know what you all think, but I'm anticipating there's more questions about what things are because they are pop and like not album binders. So I'm gonna go with the earliest kind of era one. Um, yeah, I have two of these, but this is the first one. It's white, speckled, got it from AliExpress, yada, yada, yada. And it houses my treasure and fever era Yosong pops. I also have decided that I am going to change these out and I'm going to make little like divider pages because I think I would like that. <laughs> so I think maybe next time you see this it will not be, well not next time, but next time there's like a whole kind of flip through walkthrough, this green page will be no more. Um, but yeah, so again, leave a timestamp if you have any questions or want to know where anything is from.
Also, if you see any like cards with special, um, I don't even know if you can see it, like special star sleeves, it's just because I like them a lot. <laughs> so I decided to put a special sleeve on them. One extra page in case something happens. So this is my treasure fever um, pop binder. I am missing things uh, mostly from part three, quite honestly. <laughs> but who isn't? A lot of people, but you know, whatever. So since we're here, this is my other Yo song pop binder. Like I said, it's the same. As the treasure fever, but this one is now movement and or the world um, era. So I have this freebie from again and I'm concert. And there is a lot missing from this binder. Um, anything that has like a label on it with like a little tab. I don't know if you can see the tabs, but anything with a tab and a label. Anything with a tab and a clear label means I've purchased it and it's on the way in some fashion. If it has a label and a gray tab, it means I'm setting up for this, like I'm leaving a placeholder, but I expect to kind of, it's not a priority, but I'll probably get it soon. Because um, I don't know if you could tell, I didn't tell you, but I don't really want to set up these smaller binders because I don't want to feel rushed or like forced to get everything. Obviously, I am not rushed or forced to buy everything, but if I set it up and see all the missing things, um, that's not very kind to my brain. <laughs> so I have done myself a good. <laughs> and kind of looked at a wish list and set up how I believe I would like it to be set up just so I don't have to spend so much time next time I get stuff um, to kind of reorganize. So it's just a little, I don't know, preemptive setting up. But this is all movement stuff. There is maybe one or two spin-off things in here, but this is all movement stuff. some extra pages like I said all, all of this is movement and these three are spin-off so I didn't I yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do this binder next which is my miscellaneous kind of pob e um, non top three items <laughs> Um, so I showed you my big binder. I only collect Hong Jung Song Wa Yo Song for all the Korean album pieces. I only collect, like, I only collect, intentionally collect Yo Song for pops and non-album. Um, but for movement, since I did join fixed claims and there were a lot of extras that needed to be claimed to fill spots, um, I ended up getting Hobs of members that I do not intentionally collect and I enjoyed it. Um, it was expensive, but <laughs> uh, I did pick up some leftover claims to fill sets and I decided to start a mini, mini OT8 section. Um, so 
So I'm only collecting two PCs from movement on for members that are not in my top three so that I could have some of everybody. But I did, in my spree of trying to collect Hong Chung Song and Yeo Song pops for everything, I do have some Hong Chung and Yeo Song from part three and epilogue. These are not necessarily in order. I just tried to match aesthetic wise how they look. And this is not a pob, this is a sub K card, but I got it as a freebie and I wanted to put it somewhere and I think it fits best in this page. So this is all movement era now. Oh, also I thought about picking up San. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> but the opportunity was there, so I did pick up some songs. So this is the beginning of my album PC journey. <laughs> um, so like I said, I'm Collecting two of each member, I'm just picking whichever ones I like the most. So we have Wu Young and San on that page, and Gi Chong on, or Mingi Yuno on this page. Um, I still haven't found the two others that I would like. So there's fillers there, and then I don't have either of the Chongos that I would like for Movement Era, so that's blank. But for spinoff, um, this is the start of spinoff, so I have both of the drums for spinoff. And I have Mingi and Wu and no song yet. But here is you know one of them. And then I got these two in my Barnes and Noble or just in my witness versions. And I could not let them go. So I have Jungwoo and Songs. I think these are the US exclusives, just the glasses version. Um, no specific store, but just I think the US version. So I kept those over here too. And then lastly, I have this black A5. It's got this oh, little dog on the back. <laughs> and this is my Japan merch photo set extra non-korean pop binder i will be keeping this cover because i like it a lot it matches so yeah i expect to see more of this i have put in so much work and i think it's beautiful <laughs> um, i recently reorganized this i don't know if you all saw the full extent but you will know <laughs> so again if you want to know what anything is, leave a comment. I also did decide to um, put the sparkle sleeves on the back of every page because these pages are very slippery and I used the purple sleeves for most of these so they're just really really narrow, they're like true to size and they kept slipping every time I flipped the page and I got frustrated, so I decided to add a little bit of thickness to it and add the sparkle sleeves on the back because I didn't want white fillers in this binder. Since I'm not double-siding, I wanted to see the backs of these. I do like seeing the backs of the cards. And I think the sparkle adds something. <laughs> like, it's really cool. I saw somebody do this in their like for their whole entire collection and they had a lot of twice cards um but they put them on the front and i was like ooh i'm gonna steal that and put it on the back <laughs> so this is wonderful page and we're now page this random hodgepodge page 
in here. Oh, I haven't put my filler on this page yet. Whoops. Then these are into A to Z. The first Japan album pieces I got. <laughs> and this is for Paradigm. I have everything secured, just not on hand. Also, these will be no more. But you will see. And then I have an extra two pocket here, and these are the photo sets. I don't know. I know that I'm missing. I know that I'm missing photo sets, but I don't know how many and for what era, because I haven't found a template that is com like fully complete. That's what I have. <laughs> and then this is the Wonderwall like 5x7 or whatever this is. 4x6. Um, yes. And then I just have extra pages in the back and the back cover. So th that's all I have for you today. That's like my whole collection right now. And I will leave you with this piece of information. I bought this collect book from AliExpress and I have some new cards for a new collection coming in. <laughs> um, I think that this group matches what the collect book's theme is very nicely. So that's your hint. Um, if you have a guess, please leave me a comment. <laughs> um, and I will see you all later. I have a storing video. Some of the pieces that you saw in my binders will be make a feature in that video <laughs> because I stored them and recorded before doing this. I was like, whoa, let me stop. So pretend you don't know that they already exist and I will see you all later. Have a good day. Bye.